You know how the food you usually eat turns into poop? First of all, food is chewed in your mouth. With the help of the tongue, the food was chewed. Then you swallow the chewed food. And at the same time, your epiglottis organs will cover the trachea downwards. So that food does not enter the trachea. Followed by, the food came to the esophagus. It's like a roller coaster sprinting towards the stomach. Soon came to the stomach. At this time, the stomach is like a large container full of stomach acid. Whenever there is food coming down, a large amount of digestive enzymes is produced from the folds. Stomach acid and digestive enzymes can digest and break down food. After a toss in the stomach, the food is broken down into 3 millimeters of small particles. Subsequently, a paste is formed and sent to the small intestine. At this time, the first line will secrete pancreatic juice. Helps the small intestine digest proteins and fats from food. The liver also secretes large amounts of yellow-green bile. Clean and break down food. The length of the small intestine is about 6 meters. Food sprints towards the large intestine as fast as a roller coaster. During this period, most of the nutrients in food are absorbed by the small intestine. Now comes the large intestine. The color of the large intestine. A little older than the small intestine, the big factory's job is to do the final screening. Absorb the only remaining nutrients in the food. Finally the rest of the garbage comes to the rectum. At this time, a brother in front of him, who had already formed, was lining up. Through the continuous accumulation of garbage, the formed brothers showed their heads smoothly. Finally, with a snort, it fell into the toilet. If too much is too dry, the water in the toilet will also appear on your ass. All right, do not say. I went to the squat pit first. <laughs>